Hey, it's the Bargain Bounty Hunter. I got a package from Amazon. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. This came in today. This is an item I just actually ordered. So it came in really quickly. There it is, it's in another package. It was in a padded mailer. And now it's in another just plastic mailer. From a knife. Get this thing open pretty quick. Here's what I ordered. It's in another bag, but this one, kind of like a Ziploc style bag, opens up. Here's the packaging. Kind of a nondescript hard body case. It's got a little screwdriver here on a carabiner. It's got a thin little carabiner there. So that was right on the outside. Just a little flathead screwdriver. This is actually a small 13-in-1 survival kit. Never done a survival kit before, but I've wanted one for just a bug out bag kind of thing, um, take camping or whatever. So let's get into what's inside. Open it, everything's packaged up. Obviously this is my knife, so this is not inside. What we did get was a carabiner with a Phillips head. And right off the bat, I can see here, we have an emergency blanket, nicely folded in a little Ziploc bag to keep it dry. So we got an emergency blanket in case we were caught out in the elements. Also right here, we have what is, is uh, like a little bracelet, kind of like thing. So something that you could wear around your wrist if you were hiking, camping. It's got paratrooper cord for the braiding on it. And then on the edges here, you can see that it has a flint and a striker. So you could actually strike this and cause and, and create a fire. Also on the edge here, it has a whistle. So you could blow that if you got lost and you were trying to get found. Obviously you can blow it a lot, lot louder than that, but I'm just showing you. Also, the striker here has a little bottle opener or can opener there. And this side has a compass. So this little tool has quite a bit. Obviously you can, if you needed the, the, um, the cord here, the paratrooper cord, you could undo this and you'd have a good amount of rope. I don't know exactly how much rope is in here, but usually they give you in something like this, because I have one of these already, um, usually they give you like six, or, six to 10 feet, a fly with some string cord. So in here, here we have a little, a little a fly, fly with a some board. string. Looks kind of like a worm. So in here was also little, a little bit, uh, a little, fly. I guess it's not a fly, it's a lure. Looks kind of like a worm with a li little bit of fishing line. A knife, pocket knife. This is a good sized knife. It also has the end here for cutting rope. Knife has nice action on the open. It's almost, it's got like a spring. So you just kind of flip it. That's a nice little feature. I kind of like that. So right on the back here, there's a little notch and you just put a little pressure and it flips open. It's got a locking mechanism there. The blade itself, yeah, it feels pretty sharp. It's got a nice bite. Also got a saw teeth on it too. Get through some more thick stuff. This is a nice weight too. It's not super small, like super light. It feels like it's got something in your hand, which is nice. It's got a good feel to it. What else is in here? Well, got a flashlight. Flashlight, it's got an LED bulb in it. It's got a flashlight that does not have a battery. So my guess is I'll have to put a battery in that, which I do have some batteries. So I can do that later. 
but a flashlight. What else is in here? Okay. It's got a pen. So this end here, you just twist and there's a pen. It's a regular pen. But on this end, it's got a point, which you could use, I guess, for smashing a, like a windshield or something like that. If this was in your car and you got trapped in your car, you could use it to smash the windshield. I'm not really sure what else you would use that for. And again, I'm not really super familiar with these survival kits, so if, if I miss describe something and you know what it is, let me know in the comments section below. This here has got some string. So I think I know what this is. This is a flint and striker here. Just a bigger version of what is on this, this braided um, bracelet. But this is a flint and striker starting a fire. It also has on this thing here a little bar up can opener or something like that if you needed that in your case of emergency this is really helpful this is nice if you're on the go and you don't have anything else but it's kind of small this would be a tool that it would be invaluable if you were lost out in the woods here we have a spork Kind of, it's more of a spoon. The spork action end on it is very small, but it's not a bad little utensil for eating if you're out in the wild. And it looks like it has, yep, built into the end is a whistle. Quiet whistle, not too loud. I just noticed that this striker has on, on the sides of this flat part, some measuring. Um, yeah, millimeter and you know what that is. It looks like uh, half inches. What else do we have? We have a little bit of string here. It looks like something maybe if you need like shoelace or something thin, just some string. We have another thing here. This is just a little belt hanger, I'm guessing. I don't know what this would be used for, but this definitely would connect to your belt. And on this end, you could hang things from it. I don't know, would you hang, what would you hang from it? This does open up and slide through. Maybe you could like, if you caught a fish, you could hang the fish from the gills here and then attach it to your belt. I'm not really sure what else you would use this for. Um, I guess you could use it for hanging anything that you're trying to carry to your belt. Um, maybe even this kit if you wanted to keep it real close. But yeah, there's this clasp that you can clasp things to your belt with. A couple more things in here. This little case has oh, all sorts of stuff. So this explains, this little card explains all the things that this piece here can do. And it slides into this case. So what do we have? Well, we have a can opener. We have a knife edge. We have a screwdriver, a ruler. Oh yeah, there's a ruler. We have a cap opener, a four position wrench a butterfly wrench, a saw blade, a direction ancillary indication, two position wrench, and lanyard keyhole. So, yeah, all that on that. So, it's kind of a, a useful little tool, I guess, and it doesn't take up much room. It's something you could probably, if you didn't want to keep it in this case, you could probably keep it in your wallet where it's thin, it would almost take the place of a credit card, but I've seen thinner ones that actually are like the size of a credit card. 
here. One more thing we got. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. There's only two things left. A little Ziploc bag, and then I can't get it open. There we go. This is, um, <clears throat> this is pretty cool. I've seen these used before, and I've been a fan of them. If you were ever out and um, you needed to build a structure, this is for sawing down trees. With this here, it's serrated, and you can saw and cut down a tree. Now, not obviously not a huge tree, probably, because you only got maybe a foot and a half here, but you could cut down a good sized tree if you were trying to build some kind of structure and you needed to cut down a tree for that. I'm gonna try to roll this thing back up, but I'll do that later. And then, last thing we have here, I don't know what this does. I'm trying to consider what it could do. Telescopes out. And I have no idea. It is hollow. It is very light. It's made of probably like an aluminum kind of material. It telescopes out. And I have no idea what it does. So if you have any idea what it does, let me know. I'm guessing that it's probably something kind of cool. If I look down the center of it, it is literally, there's nothing in there. It's just a hollow, a hollow pipe. Could it be a straw? I don't think I want to drink water out of a puddle. So I'm guessing it's not. Could it be you stick a match in the end and you telescope it to, to start a fire? Maybe. I don't know. And there doesn't appear to be any instructions that came with this little safety kit. Yeah, no. So let me know in the comments below if you know what this thing does. So let me tell you a little bit more about this kit. If you're interested in purchasing it, this kit was made by the company Snow Cinda. So Snow Cinda is S-N-O-W-C-I-N-D-A, Snow Cinda. Uh, it's a 13-in-1 survival gear. It comes with all kinds of uh, survival equipment that you could need or tools that you might need camping or fishing, hunting, hiking, stuff like that. Great gift opportunity here if you know someone who's an outdoorsman and you want to make sure that they kind of stay safe while they're out there. It's pretty small and compact. Easily fit in your gear and not take up too much space. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, let me know again in the comment section. Maybe I've described something here wrong um, or you know something does something different than, than what I said. Let me know. I'd appreciate that. It'd be helpful also for the listeners and the viewers of this video. So thanks for watching and until next time.